Hi everyone, welcome to part two of the uh, PC haul. So, lots of laptops. There is a few here that I have already decided that I want to keep if they work, of course. Um, but I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with the rest. Parts, maybe? Because I do have a bunch of broken laptops that I want to fix. Anyway, I, d I don't know which pile to go to. Because I do want to sort of sort these out into some piles as well. Like There is quite a few Dells in this pile that I want to separate. I think I'll put those over here. So I'm just going to pick a pile. I've got a Dell already. Which has got an XP Pro sticker on the bottom. Looks complete. It's actually quite clean and tidy as well. It is a Latitude D505. So that could go in the Dell pile. This might be quite a long video because there is a lot here. If it gets too long, I'll break this video down as well. Another Dell, Dell Inspiron. I think I will keep this one because I don't have many. Well, I know what the problem is with this one because it's actually written on the screen. I don't know if you can see that. That actually says screen broken in permanent marker. Um, yeah, and I can see the marks there. But I'm sure out of this lot, I've got a screen that will fit it. So, I'm guessing that is the only issue with this one. Again, I don't know if any of these are going to have RAM fitted. A lot of the laptops I got last time, very few out of that 21 actually had any. That's quite a large laptop. I'm going to put that one on the bottom, I think. But like I said, I don't have much in the way of Inspirons, so that's a definite keeper. What's this big old silver thing? It's another Dell with a big car sticker on it. And something rattling around it. Whee! That screen looks alright. Got a, uh, it's hard to get this camera. Is that going to be better? It's got some sort of web, web address there as a reminder. That shows its age. www.bbc.co.uk slash schools slash words and pictures slash phonics slash index dot shtml. Quite a long web address there. I uh, don't know, why is this one? It's a Dell Watt. Another Inspiron, 1150. That would have annoyed the living crap out of me if I didn't peel that off. <laughs> I just had to do it. What we got now? We have an Acer. Nice little Acer. With a Windows Vista sticker on it. A bit rally, some dirt in it. Um, the chap did say some of these did actually get wet, but as long as they've dried out now, they shouldn't be a problem. Windows Vista, so I'm going to need an Acer pile, aren't I? I'll tell you what, we'll move that. Put the Aces down here. Oh, another big Toshiba. Got COA on the bottom that I can't bloody read. Model number and everything is actually worn off. That ain't a lot of good if I need to find info on this. Ah, so we actually have the problem written here on this post it note. Um, Works to boot without a charger plugged in, but dies when the charger is plugged in. That sounds like there's a short on that charger socket. That would be my guess, that the charger socket is at fault on this one. I need to uh, actually do a bit of research on this one and find out what the specs are, try and find out what the model is. Leave that there so that's a reminder. 
because I actually quite like this Toshiba. It doesn't seem to be that old either, but like I said, there's no model number on the bottom, look. It's all, it's all um, worn off. I can just about see DC 19 volt, and that is it. Um, so if anyone actually... D it's a satellite. That's literally all I can see. It's a Toshiba satellite. I guess I'm just going to have to Google that in uh, Google Images or something and try and find an image that matches this one. That's... I think that's all I can do, to be honest. Well, I forgot. I've got a couple of keyboards as well. I'm just having a shuffle around. Those there. A whole bunch of that. Carry a bunch to get rid of. I said, get rid of them. There is no real reason to sort them like this. I just thought it would make sense while we go through them. What do we got here? A tiny. I don't have a laptop by a tiny. So if this is a working one. And it's actually in pretty good condition as well, cosmetically. It's quite heavy. Didn't think about weight back then, did this? It's going to be the odd ball pile, I think, because Tiny is an odd ball one. Ooh. Adele. Which has got... No hard drive. That's the hard drive, do it. I've got no CD drive on this one, either. And we've got no screen. Full keyboard. <laughs> Get better and better with this one. Actually, I've got two similar Dells downstairs. I don't have any of this either, it's just this piece, so most likely they're going to get broken for parts. Oh, we've got the eBay listing here. Maybe this was bought as spares or repairs just for the parts for another machine, hence why all of this is all missing. Let's put the screen bezel back together. Right, I'm not going to put that, where is it? It's a D510, this one, so I'm not going to put that in the Dell pile. This is going to be in the clearly broken pile. <laughs> what have we got? We've got another Dell. I told you there was a lot of Dells. Got Ref 10 written on that one. And there's XP on the bottom. We're missing the battery. I have noticed that from this clearance that there's a lot of laptops with a missing battery. Now, this must have been another eBay purchase because we've got the uh, print out here. It's a Latitude 120L. Da, 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 da. 512 memory, no hard drive, caddy included, missing battery, backlight on and off, no power supply, and will not be held to ransom over petty non-descriptive items we have missed. No operating system, obviously, because there's no hard drive. Hmm. If the screen blinking is the issue, I would say that it's either the panel, backlight on the panel, or the... Um, Missing the optical drive as well. Or the driver itself. The easiest thing to do is just replace the driver. The driver, if it stops doing it with a new driver in there, then you know it's the driver. Another Dell. I think I've already got one of these. <laughs> um, it looks identical to this one. What was this one? This was the... Uh... I can't see in this light. The 1150. So the question is, is this also an 1150? No, it's the 5160. What's the difference? <laughs> Don't know, but I will find out later. A Dell laptop there as well. I've got another red Dell. It was very much like the one I'm now using in the bedroom. It's also got a battery missing. It's also got the screen missing. Got screen hinges. Windows Vista Basic. Actually, uh, <laughs> some very flippy floppy screen hinges there. Hmm. 
seller on Yorkor. Don't know about that one. There's not a lot left of it. We do have the CD drive. No hard drive as always. We have to connect that to an external monitor to see if it actually does anything. If it doesn't, then I'll just get the scrap. What we got here? A Fujitsu Siemens life book. I don't think Fujitsu Siemens actually make them. Ooh! Well, that's an interesting little laptop. We've got a little LCD display in here. Come from Spain, apparently. Oh, Spanish sticker down there. Lifebook S Series Core 2 Duo. This has got dual core on it. Really? Designed for Windows XP, Windows Vista capable. That is a definite one that I want to keep in my collection because I actually quite like that. Came with Windows XP installed. But if it takes DDR2 RAM, then I could potentially do some upgrading so Fujitsu Siemens can go behind you. Oh look, another Dell. <laughs> Battery missing. We have no keyboard or panel. So I might have to go and retrieve the two bases from downstairs to see if it actually matches the do I even want to know what that is? It's gooey. It doesn't smell bad though, but it is gooey. And now it's gone. Are the same? No. Everything is different on the back. So I'll put that there. It's got some dents in the lid. I have no idea what this one is because I haven't actually looked at it yet. Uh, again, no screen, very grubby. Oh, it's another Dell. It's an Inspiron 1225. Minus the screen. There's a lot of busted up Dells in here. With any luck, I'll have some RAM in some of these. I hope. We have another Acer. Mm. Motherboard suspect, no screen. What's the COA on this one? Windows Vista from the looks of it. And... <laughs> Screen's not even getting <laughs> Yeah, this is an Acer Aspar, this one. Got some paperwork with it as well, right? Put that together. I'm going to put that in the Acer pile. See if I can get that to do anything. Screen swapped out. Ah. So is that what they wanted this for? Paid twenty six pounds for it. Postage and packaging was fifteen quid. Ow. Holy crap. The sale date was eleventh August twenty twelve. I'm just watching my battery thing on there as well because the camera's been running for a while. But there's no description on this. It's got item specifics. Doesn't tell what the RAM is. Processor speed is 1.8 gigahertz. But it doesn't tell you what the processor is. It's page two. Ah, page two has got a description on it. It's got to be D DDR2 memory in it because it's a Vista machine. Not that that usually means anything with Windows Vi 
Vista. I didn't realise that was in the pile. It's just a Dell screen and lid. <laughs> um, okay, we'll put that in the bits pile. Ah, another lovely little Toshiba. No COA on it. Little Windows Vista sticker on it. It's definitely been well used. See, all this is all peeling off. Uh, it's got Harman slash Carden written on there. I don't know if that means anything. Yeah, this one looks pretty well used. Uh, do we know what sort of Toshiba it is? It's an Equium A300D. There's my Toshiba pile over here, isn't it? And what's the last one in this pile? Another Fujitsu Siemens Amilo Pro. I had an Amilo once. No screen. You lie. There's a screen. Stick it down here, it says no screen. Windows Vista Basic. Intel Pentium Dual Core. Got a hinge cover missing, but that doesn't bother me. To be tested, where's my Fujitsu Siemens file? It's over there, isn't it? Behind you. Alrighty then, next pile. I'll do two piles. Pause, charge the camera. And then we'll do the other two piles in another video. Another little Dell. I think I've got an identical one of these in the bedroom. So we've got a Latitude D400. Yeah, I'm pretty certain the other one I've got is one of these. And another eBay purchase from the looks of it. Yeah, spares or repair. This one's passworded apparently. When was the sale date? 2nd of March 2013. Not even a lot else to talk about that one. It is in nice condition though, apart from one button missing. It still works, it's just missing the button. Into the Dell pile. I'm starting to think those Dells minus the screen should be in the parts pile as well. Oh look! I've got another one that looks like the other two. What have we got here? It's a 5160. I do believe one of the other two was a 5160. So put that in the Dell pile. <laughs> Toshiba. I had one very similar to this years ago before I moved into this flat. And it died on me. <laughs> this is nice. Toshiba Satellite. Windows XP. It's in very nice condition. Uh, is it a Satellite Pro or what? No, it's a Satellite A30. Next is a Dell Latitude CPI. I'm sure I've got one of these in my uh, cupboard in the kitchen. But I paid a couple of quid for it at car boot sale and it worked. So this one was another eBay buy. Something tells me that printer was running out of ink <laughs> when this was printed off. Either that or this has got damp, one or the other. Seller's description, an old laptop that has been sitting in a box for a while now. Could be broken. It seems in good condition, but I have not tested. There's no power supply or hard disk. This belongs to a friend and I'm now clearing out my house. Sold as C. You missed the end on for that one, but <laughs> sale date 27th of May 2012. That just proves how long some of this stuff has sat around it in that computer shop. Postage and packaging was only five pounds for this, and the winning bid, winning bid was five pounds. Yeah, I think when this was put in there, printer was running out of ink. But uh, I'm gonna have to compare this with the other one and see what model my other one is. Model number PPL. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm about 99.9% .9 certain I've got another one of these. 
I have, and this one works, I'm going to put Windows 2000 on this one. And I have Fujitsu Siemens with I love you on it. Amilo Pro. I thought that was just like the other one, but it's not. <laughs> Got an Intel Celeron on this one. Do we have a COA? Whoops, COA on the bottom. We do. Looks like an XP one. It is. <laughs> So many machines shipped with like XP Home on it. Three Fujitsu Siemens. What about this one? This is a high grade with a picture of a little face on it. There's no COA, it's got no screen written on it, and squeezing the lid, I quite believe that. It's got a screen. I wonder if that means that the script, there's nothing on screen. Windows Vista Basic because if there's no screen that could be a number of issues but I find the quickest way to um, rule out a lot of them is just to plug an external monitor in and that socket is kind of a bit rusty uh, this is going to go on the oddball pile it's going to go with the tiny I've never heard of high grade well, yeah, what we got on here Toshiba with a bunch of uh, festive stickers all over it are we early or late for that one? That looks like a Vista sticker on it. It's a satellite A100-02M. And what the flame in the hell? <laughs> if this works, I'm peeling all of this off because that doesn't look like that's going to be that diff. Well, it might be that difficult to do because it's going to take the buttons with it. <laughs> Some of them have already started to fall off. Yeah. Maybe someone who was partially sighted used this. That might be the reason for that. Toshiba Pile. Ugh. A Compaq. No PSU. No battery. And I've got a feeling this one might be broken for parts because we've got a big old break in the case there. Windows XP Pro was on it. We've got some paperwork here as well, quite a lot of it. Another eBay purchase listing, that's $14.99. It's an Evo N800V P-4M. Definitely an XP era laptop. $14.99. What's this though? PC Simple Limited. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, it's got everything written there. Power test result doesn't turn on. Boots NA, CPU NA, memory NA, NA, NA. Media bay drive, yes, no cracks. No keys missing, doesn't have charge. Lid catch works. Lid hinges aren't loose, COA license. Screws, none missing. That's oh, just like a little checklist. One thing I like about this, you get to see some, a bit of history with it as well. But uh, going by that big old smash on there, I don't think there's another one of these in this lot. I think that one may end up on the uh, to break up for parts pile. In fact, it doesn't turn on anyway. According to that. Next, another Fujitsu Siemens. Ooh, a big old panel here, which the screws have been taken out of. Windows XP Home Edition. Sounds like there's a screw or something rattling around in there. Another Amilo or a Milo. I don't know how you actually pronounce that. Not bad. Looking at the laptop, quite tidy, but. I really do not need any more XP era compute um, laptops or desktops in my collection. This is absolutely no idea because it doesn't say. Does it say on the bottom? Rock. <coughs> right. Um.
No, I thought that was brown, but it isn't. Ow. Right. Mm. Windows Vista sticker on there. Yep, it is simply just rock. Never heard of this. It does look in relatively niche and tidy condition, apart from some gouges in the lid. In the odd ball pile. That's definitely an odd ball one. Another Fujitsu Siemens. Ex customer, blah blah blah, do not wipe hard drive without permission. Something tells me this ain't going to have the hard drive in it. It's got Windows Vista COA on it though. Oh, don't know what that was. Oh, some loose panel up the top here. Yeah, Windows Vista Basic apparently. Another Amilo. Pretty clean and tidy. In the Fujitsu Siemens pile. And we have another Fujitsu Siemens. Dun, dun, dun. Another Toshiba next from the looks of it. Designed for Windows XP. I'm sure there's one similar to this in that pile already. But that one, yeah, I can see it. Oh, there is slightly difference in the case design. Now we've got a big old bulky Toshiba here. An EA6173. XP sticker on it, of course. Um, okay, I can't open it. Oh, yes, I can. The thing on there has disappeared. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, oh, I see. Hinge is broken. This side has actually snapped. So when you lift it up, it's literally just popped that off. Okay. Right. Looks like a lot of these are eBay purchases. This cost him 23 quid back in October, the 27th of October 2012. Nine pound to post it. I think that one can go in my scrap pile. I'm not really interested in that one. A Packard Bell. XP sticker on it. Ooh. Easy Note R sticker down here. Designed for Microsoft Windows XP. Seller on M. I can't read what that is. Ah, this one's got charge. Ah, this one works. <laughs> I already tapped the power button at this one. Oh, holy shit. Uh, uh, there's obviously no hard disk in it then because it doesn't want to boot from that. I did not expect that to do that. Um, I haven't got a pack hard bell pile, but I think that's the only one here. Yes, another Fujitsu Siemens. We've got COA, that looks like a Vista COA on that. Yep, one does Vista. A couple of buttons missing. No juice in it. Perhaps I should have done that with the other laptops just for the hell of it. Right, the screen looks okay. And the Fujitsu Siemens pile. I'm going to have to move that pile because it's right in the middle of the floor. Oh, very large Acer. I haven't had an Acer for a while. And we have a Windows XP sticker on the bottom. ATI Graphics AMD 64. Ah, so you could put a 64-bit version of XP on it. One gigabyte DDR2 RAM, 120 gigabyte hard drive. Might have the RAM on it if we're lucky, but 
on doubting the hard drive. It's actually quite large, that one. Right. I'm actually hungry now. My camera needs to charge. So, there will be a part three doing of these two piles. I'll give you a chance just to move some of these other piles around as well. So, thanks a lot for watching. I'll record part three once this is charged. See you in the next one.